closely spaced traffic signals, particularly along a main corridor, are typically coordinated to improve the flow of traffic. This can reduce delay, emissions, control speeds, and provide other benefits by moving a platoon or group of vehicles along the coordinated corridor. Subsequently, when a series of coordinated traffic signals prioritize continuous flow through these intersections, a green wave results. This process is designed and implemented by traffic engineers, and it can either be static, meaning pre-programmed, or dynamic, meaning reflective of actual movements or sensor data. Vehicles traveling at or near the progression speed will be able to traverse the corridor through the green band. Vehicles traveling too fast will arrive on red before the signal changes to the green phase, and vehicles traveling too slowly will arrive on red by missing the green phase. This is an example of a series of closely spaced intersections, and we'll assume it's a coordinated signal system. And what I'll show first is an example of a system that isn't well progressed, isn't well coordinated, We'll see a vehicle that stops on red, then sees the green phase, goes to the next intersection, arrives on red, goes again, stops and stops and stops at every single intersection. And of course, that's what we want to avoid from a delay and emission standpoint um, and just a general flow of traffic and congestion. We'd like to avoid that. So that's what we'll see first. And then next, we'll see the green wave and a vehicle that accepts and sees a green band throughout the corridor. So we obviously want to avoid that prior situation, but now it's the green wave. So as the vehicle moves throughout the corridor, they're going to see that green band, the green phase as they progress. And hopefully we move a full platoon or a group of vehicles throughout that corridor at once. And so it's common to stop or create that platoon at the first signal in the system and then progress them fully through the system. So now we'll see an example of traffic signal progression, in particular the green wave. We'll see on a corridor on a street, Dawson Street in Raleigh. And so look for this as you watch this video of the vehicle progressing through this corridor. The first signal, we're going to arrive on, on red. And then you'll see successive signals change from red to green around the time that the vehicle arrives or joins an existing queue at those intersections. And you'll see a, a large number of, of intersections throughout the corridor but very nice progression and coordination along this corridor. And again, overall reducing delay and the resulting emissions and helping control the speeds by encouraging drivers to drive at that progression speed. And as drivers become familiar with the corridor, they'll know what that progression speed is intuitively and try to match that speed to maximize their efficiency through the corridor.